Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about predictions fulfilled in Christ. There are 353 prophecies in the Bible about the Messiah. The Messiah is the promised Savior of the world. This matters because we have seen many false messiahs, even in recent history. But if there's one sure way to test their honesty, is to look at their predictions and the fulfillment. In John chapter 12, we find the fulfillment of a messianic prophecy that was over 500 years old. Well, what was that prophecy? Did Jesus fulfill it? Let's go back to the Bible to find the answers. John writes this in John chapter 12, beginning in verse 12. The next day that the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. After the dinner in Bethany, Jesus and some of the crowd take off for Jerusalem. Remember that some of the people believe in Jesus. After they saw him with Lazarus, they got it. They finally believed in him. Well, the crowd grows as they approach Jerusalem. The people begin to wave palm branches, which weren't traditionally tied to Passover. Instead, they became symbolic of victory. And perhaps they thought that Jesus meant victory in government turnover. He was that man. Well, being swept up in the moment, the crowd begins to yell, Hosanna! Hosanna is a word that means help, I pray. It's a plea for salvation. So they cry, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is quoting Psalm 118, verse 26. It's displaying their hope that Jesus was that long-awaited Messiah. And then we find an unusual event. It says that Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. In the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, it says that Jesus sent two disciples out to find a donkey and a colt. He knew about these donkeys, so he sends them out to find them. Well, they do find them, and they bring them back. Well, here, John simplifies the story. And notice that it says, just as it is written. 500 years before this moment, Zechariah predicted the Messiah would ride into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. You find this in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Now, at first, this event doesn't ring any bells for the disciples, but eventually it does. Jesus was the fulfillment of that prophecy. The Messiah was not a warrior king, but a servant king. He did not enter Jerusalem on a war horse, but instead on a colt. He did not come in waving and enjoying the recognition. Instead, according to Luke 19, he wept over Jerusalem. The people who shouted, Hosanna! They would soon cry, crucify him. Jesus is the promised Messiah. 353 prophecies fulfilled without error. He is the one we waited for. He is the one we can trust. The question is, will we? <laughs> will I? Will you?